Uh, it's Mark Skousen at the San Francisco Money Show, and we are talking to the mythical uh, Jim that, Rogers. Yes. And, uh, and you know, you've written this book, a uh, couple of books, Investment Banker, a Biker, and uh, Street Smarts. I particularly like Street Smarts. To me, I think that's your best book, personally, because you kind of encapsulated all the wisdom, the, the things that you've learned over the years. And I love that title, Street Smarts. By Street Smarts. Yeah, that's really a great book. And you've, you've talked about that at Freedom Fest and elsewhere and so forth. Well, today you talked a little bit about China and you were talking about how wonderful it is to have children. And um, this is a big issue. In Germany, uh, they're not replacing uh, the, to the numbers are declining in Germany and France and several other European countries. Uh, Japan has a serious uh, uh, aging problem and they're not, even though with incentives, it's still not getting uh, more children uh, to be born. China has now opened up and allowing two children instead of one, but it's not working. They say over and over again, Chinese are still having just one child. Didn't this destroy the, the Chinese, the famous Chinese family and everything, basically the one-child policy? How much of a disaster was that? Well, the one-child policy was certainly a disaster because everybody has one child, yeah. and that does not replace the population, and they're having one boy. They don't like girls in China. Many Asian countries, they want boys instead of girls. And why is that? Because you said that it's, it's all through Asia. Oh, yeah, uh, Japan, Korea, uh, Punjab, India, and India, they all want boys. Now, I will tell you, first of all, a thousand years ago in Europe, the same thing happened. There was a shortage of females. So female status went like that. Uh -huh. And in Europe, a thousand years ago, the boy's family paid a dowry. You know, now the girl's family pays a dowry in India. Right, right. A right, thousand yeah. years ago, the boy's family, because there were no girls. Yeah. So yeah. the value of girls went up. Women ran city states, they ran companies, then the balance went back. But no, when there's a shortage of anything, as you know, the value goes up. In Asia, right now, there's a huge shortage. The best thing you and I could do is become a 16-year-old Korean girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we do it, but if we could, because those children are going to skyrocket. You, you said you, you like girls more than boys. I mean, you have two girls. Yes. Uh, later on in your life, having children, uh, so, uh, and you made the point that you love girls more than boys in a lot of ways, uh, so your philosophy is different than these traditional Chinese. Of course, uh, I have learned that girls are better than boys from my experience. I was the oldest of five sons. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I know the girls yeah. are better than boys. I had to take care of all those little boys, little brothers for a long time. So I know girls are much better than boys for many reasons. And there's a shortage, yeah. which makes it even better. And your daughters are both actresses? Or they're, they're acting they or doing yeah, some kind acting. of... Uh, they're acting. I have a... It's horrifying. Speak fluent Chinese and Mandarin and... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's but they're only, they're young, so we'll see. Yeah. It has been 20 years. Yeah. So are you, given this crisis with the aging pro population problem in Asia, you're still bullish on Asia. Why? Yes. I'm bullish on Jewish. Japan has a horrible demographic yeah, problem. Yeah. Right. As far as women are concerned, as far as people. It's got a declining population and rising debt. But 20 years from now, Japan will be a nightmare. But in the meantime, stocks are down. The government's trying to get stocks up. There are good things happening. Yeah. But I, I can't imagine owning Japan anything in 20 years, 30 years. I mean, or other countries, too. Now, we will learn China has the problem. Korea has the problem. In India, they have it. We will see how it's going to play out because Japan is already in decline, yeah. and so we will see how it's going to work. Now, one difference between East and West is infrastructure. The American infrastructure, what, they, they need to spend $4 trillion on infrastructure, or $8 trillion to rebuild our infrastructure. President Trump has been talking about that. Nothing's happening. The, the, our cities are a mess. The, the, you go to the Asian countries, is there a pothole in Singapore? Is there a traffic jam that you can never see in Singapore? Why don't we learn from them? You've landed at JFK, 
and then to the third world airport, and then a third world taxi on a third world highway into a third world five-star hotel. You're exactly right. You go to Singapore, you're out of the airport in 12 minutes. Wow. I didn't say out of the plane. You're out of the airport in 12 yeah. minutes. Same thing in our new Hong Kong airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For whatever reason, they're efficient, they're modern, they work. And that's so great to show <laughs> to Americans it can be done. Oh, and we should send all of done. our public officials over there to show yeah. that it can be done. We should send all of our public officials out to pasture. We <laughs> <laughs> should retire them. That's a good way to end. Thank you very much, Jim. This is Mark Skousen with The Money Show TV. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Mark. Thank